I'm just on the way to church this Sunday morning here in Michelbach. I'm going to Kelberau, next town where the marine pilgrimage place is. I did a video about it and I just saw, isn't it so beautiful when you see somebody doing, somebody doing something out of love. I see it how like my uncle, aunt and my other aunt take care of my father with so much love and you are in awe when you see that to give my father a family, a home. And this is, how to say for me, it's so beautiful to see. And at the end, as it's written in the Bible, what does count is love and you do something out of love. And then we are in awe. When we go to Baker and he does, does something out of love, you wanna go there and buy the bread there because you feel something there, something authentic, joyful, peaceful. And that's what St. Therese of Lisieux said. She said, little things done out of love. These are the big things. Just think about that, you know? At the end, what counts is love. Simple as that, simple acts of love. And you see a bit now my town, Sunday morning, going to mass early morning to the next town now. We went already there together and that's just a little inspiration I want to tell you. Do things authentically out of love. Worship God in love, in spirit and love, it's written in the Bible. And spirit, it said, God is spirit. And then it said in John, John the Apostle says, the one who hasn't loved does not know God because God is love. Simple as that. So there, be authentic. Listen to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of love, peace and joy. Be authentic. Uh, ask God for your mission if you don't know it yet. He will show it to you. He will reveal it to you. Be in constant communication with the helper, the Holy Spirit. Ask him, I need help. In this and that. Also in the situation when you are not sure how to advance, we, we advance in faith, not in sight. And always with love, authentically, you know? That's the first thing, be authentic, honest. You know, we often are not honest in communication. And that is the most important in our Catholic faith, love and truth, and at the end, love. And I see it when I observe my uncle and my father's little brother, how he takes care of his brother. This is, oh, I had tears one night. I saw this is so beautiful. This is family. And that's why we all like Medjugorje as well, because we feel family there, the Catholic Apostolic Church, Universal Church, we can experience there. People living from the heart, helping each other. having the same mindset focused on Christ. And that's what we all have to have. Focus on Christ, focus of the, on the heart of Christ. Dedicate yourself to the heart of Christ. Take refuge in the heart of Christ and in the Immaculata of Mary. These hearts are full of love and they will transfer their love to your love. And it's a refuge in this time of confusion, anger, hate, division. We have to get back to loving hearts, calm, peaceful, loving hearts, helping each other. All this division is a design by the devil, by the other side. And the peace, as my spiritual guide says, the peace begins in your heart. And Our Lady in Medjugorje, these days, there's the birthday novena, there are um, apparitions. Um, how to say? extra apparitions at night, 10, 11 o'clock. Check it out on marytv.tv or there you can see it live. And she talks, she asks us to pray for peace because we are in a, living in a world now where there is no peace. And God tests us, our hearts as well, our attentions as well. You have to pass through it by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And we pray now, Jesus, take my hand. Our Lady take my hand and guide me like a little child every second of this day in the divine will through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. 
and you will experience the living God of Israel in the nations in your heart. He will show his guiding hands, his presence in your life. He says in the Bible, if you yearn for me, I will re reveal myself to you. So you only have to be in communication in your heart. Say, God, I want to know you, this God of love, this, this, not this false God. Sometimes we are educated like the, the angry old man with the white beard. That is like a priest or um, a deacon from Austria said, it's a devilish image of God the Father. That's not true. The devil is like that. God is loving. He's waiting for us that we repent, come back to him, to be in conversation with him, to say, sorry, we have 10 sentences, the 10 commandments to stay in peace, in love and joy. Totally misunderstood these 10 commandments. They are not there to burden us. They are there to bring us into fullness and of life, joy and peace. And look how much God loves us. He gave us this creation. Listen to it. And God sends us so much presence, you know? You have to look at it. If you don't see this presence in your life, like a flower now, look here. Like this little beautiful flower. Or here. Or a talk. I was invited by my neighbor here in, in Germany for a coffee twice. And we had a nice talk. And you can speak out, you can talk about your experiences. We all have this little presence. God is placing them in your life. Don't be fearful and ask God, give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear and you will hear and you will see the love of God in your life. Jesus said, I would go on the cross again for just one person. That's how much we are loved. We are not in our true identity. It took me such a long time to understand how much I am loved individually by God the Father. And then he, that he wants the good for me. He knows. And look at creation again. A little bird making a nest. And slow down the other side. Wants you to distract, to be all the time of YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And not to have this conversation in your heart with God. To be occupied all the time. I see it, if I don't pray the rosary, you have the most powerful, how to say, meditation. Everybody talks these days about meditation. We, the Catholics, have the most powerful meditation. It's the rosary. It's the weapon of our times, as Father P Pater Pio, Pater Pio said. Use it, start it out, just with a pearl, 10 pearls. You know, it's... It's not an obligation. You have to pray it from the heart, as Our Lady says. And look again at this beautiful creation by God. You have to slow down. We have to slow down and see that again. Here, for example. And then the Eucharist. I'm going now to Holy Mass. You have in your hometown, you have a miracle. You don't have to go to Medjugorje. In every hometown, there are miracles. Look at this flower. This is a miracle as well. But the biggest miracle is the Eucharist, where I'm going now. Here in Kelbao, it's a marine pilgrimage place. The church is called Maria zum Rauen Wind. Mary in the rough storm or wind. It's for free. 
God is giving himself. He makes himself small. I made this morning a video about this, about the wonder of the Eucharist, the biggest miracle we have every day in your town as well. And go to Jesus, go to the Holy Mass, go to confession, be in a state of grace. That's the process. Ask for a good confession and you will be relieved, free. You talk your things out. And then you receive the Eucharist. Christ in you, the biggest antidepressive you can get in the world for free. Biggest therapy. This absolution, the, 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 the confession. We have it all. We have to rediscover it. Look, and this is Walfahrt's Ort Kelbau. And I'm going to the church there now. And it's worthwhile the walk for Christ. I tell you, before as a child I didn't understand, but I'm grateful my parents always took me. And I have the formation. The basics, the foundation is there. But if you want to do it now, that's even better. Because, and because you do it consciously. Look here now again, another beautiful gift by God. So we arrive soon at the church. What can I say? Please pray for me, my dad, my uncles, my aunts, my family, and I pray for you and your family. Let's make that deal. And I wish you a beautiful, joyful Sunday. And remember, go to Holy Mass, go first to good confession if you haven't been, be in a state of grace. And you hear already the church. So God bless you all here from Kelperau. Isn't that beautiful? You know that sound around the world. This is a Catholic apostolic church and here we are.